Okay guys, so what I want to do in this video is I want to share with you a recent golf lesson. And Simon came through the door and he had been struggling with very common amateur tendencies. He said that he felt like he was struggling with his weight transfer and felt himself leaning back more often than not. He was struggling with some of the distance control on some of his wedges and also was just struggling with general ball flight control and was really struggling with the longer clubs. And this is the kind of problems that I encounter all the time. Now, what Simon was doing is he was pulling down on the handle. So as he started the downswing, he was pulling down on the handle. Now, one of the problems that this then posed for Simon was as he was coming in towards the bottom part of the golf swing, because he was pulling down on the handle like so, the club ended up traveling too much out to in, okay? Which means shot's gonna go left unless you open the face. So what he was doing, he was pulling down on the handle like this and then he had to like open the face in the hit. And then you imagine trying to hit a drive with that technique, it's just gonna give you sort of slices and pull hooks and all sorts of horrible shots. So that was one of the problems. Now, the other problem was the weight transfer. You see, what you have gotta try and imagine with the club head in terms of the relationship to the ground is it's kind of like a plane coming down to land. The plane kind of wants to land so that all the passengers are pretty comfortable as it hits the runway. What we don't want is the plane coming down too steep, so there's a very small landing area. And this is the other problem for Simon. You see, if I show you two things here, look, as I pull down on the handle, see the clubhead? If I release correctly, see where the clubhead goes. And if I can release like this, the clubhead works lower to the ground, which gives us more consistency in that contact. The problem is, you start doing this, and then you're going to have to do this. And then you start doing that with an out twin, with an open face, no wonder the wedge play is suffering as well, you know? There's just gonna be loads of spin on the ball and just uh, inconsistency. So what we did is we worked on um, the start of the downswing, okay? So the thing that we had to understand is, look, there needs to be an element of arm rotation in the golf swing, okay? So we need to rotate the arms to square the face, but you want that to happen very late, okay? Because if I start trying to rotate my arms too soon, see the club gets too steep and this is the problem now what i wanted simon to do was start the downswing where he kept the club bar on plane and then he could release it at the bottom part of the swing and that's what we did now there was two things that we did that were significant the first one is we just got the feeling of straightening the right arm and as we got the sense of straightening the right arm that just gave his swing width and we did some little chip shots and some little pitch shots that way and that felt more natural and felt a lot easier which was great the other thing that we then focused on was the start of the downswing and trying to keep the forearm up to the sky. We actually even marked the forearm so that we just had a very strong visual. So we just did some practice swings where as he started the downswing, we just got the feeling of allowing the arm to straighten, but we tried to make sure the early downswing forearm is pointing up to the sky. And what this does, that gets the club on plane. Now, look, in all transparency, as Simon was hitting some shots, when we started working on the downswing, visually, okay, meaning I videoed it, visually, the swing improved dramatically. However, I'm not saying the results were, because obviously Simon's been hitting it with a really open face for a long time. So when you start shallowing that golf club out, where do you think it's gonna go? It's gonna go shooting off to the right. But what we did is we said, that's okay. And then as time went on and he hit more balls, he started to then get the feeling of squaring the face. And then he was able to sort of swing back, get the feeling of his arms dropping, and then releasing and started to grow in much more confidence. And that is the process that you guys need to be going on as well. Identify the problem. Spend some time being very aware of the problem. So forearm, straightening, do lots of repetition just like that. And then once you feel like you're getting that right and you get that video feedback that it is the right thing to do, all that visual feedback that it is the right thing to do, then you can start to concentrate a little bit more on results. But if you jump too much to trying to get the results, you might not make the change and you might just get stuck. See you soon.